Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, tonight I'm going to answer some questions. Um, I'm going to use the SDR here to answer the questions, and uh, there's several types of questions that uh, I think is going to be interesting maybe for some of you to uh, understand a little more, the, uh, the radio aspect of shortwave. Uh, the first question I want to address is one that came out, I think is last week I saw it go through, which is, how do you know when a band is opened? How can you, um, you know, is there a trick? Is there something to uh, check online? Uh, well, there's a few things that you can do to see if a band is open. First of all, I think um, a lot of us will tell you, go and tune the band. Uh, for example, one of the things that I've seen in the past is somebody say, well, you know, you guys talk about the Super Bowl channel, channel six on CV band, and it ha when you say it's active, what trick do you have? Well, you know, for most of us, the trick is simply to go and tune it because we know that there are specific signals and things to look at. So it's to slowly learn what is available when bands are open. So an example is on the higher frequencies, uh, channel 6, 27025 is one of the sure examples. This is always active. When, when it, the band is open, it's always active. There's always something uh, from skip coming through. If it's very quiet like it is right now, well, band is probably closed. And what you'll hear if you do hear stuff is really local signals. Uh, there are beacons in the 10-meter band, uh, around 28, uh, 200 all the way to, um, so here, 28200. So anywhere from like 28200 to 28300, there's a bunch of CW beacons in Morse code that you can try to tune in single sideband. Uh, if 10 meters open, you'll hear some beacons there from different areas. And uh, there are lists out there actually of the beacons and their locations. So that could be useful. You'll know when the higher frequencies are open if you hear some beacons here. And, of course, um, you know, these are uh, tricks. Now, you might say, well, you know, it's a higher frequency, so it must must be daytime. Unfortunately, shortwave is very unpredictable in many of the frequency ranges. So you might think, well, 10 meter, 28 megahertz, or CB band, 27 megahertz, that must be daytime only when there's some activity. Uh, from skip. Well, no, there's sporadic e skip that comes into play and all sorts of other phenomena. That means it could be dead middle of the night and you'll hear signals. So don't count on the fact that it's always a rule. Actually, that rule is very uh, uneven. So when, um, you know, I hear people saying, well, you know, I'm not going to go and check out 15 megahertz or 19 meter band or or check out 20 megahertz uh, for time signal because uh, it's late. Yeah, it's not that clear cut. Uh, it's not because the sun is set that there's no signals on a specific band. Um, and also depending on you know the season, um, that changes also. It's not the same all the time. So I think it's fair to say that to know if a band is specifically open, um, go and tune around. Um, and see if you hear anything. It's probably what most people do, even though there's online resources to know when, for example, the 10-meter band is open, uh, things like that. Most of us don't even take the time to go and see if it's open on a website. Most of the time, we're just going to go and tune a couple of signals that we know are there. So, you know, it could be WWV, it could be, like I said, the CB channel 6 for the higher frequencies, uh, see if there's any activity and you know you want to know if a band is open just go and tune around um, it's really really not that complicated uh, in general what we do and uh, you know if you get something if you get some great signals well you'll know that there's going to be some stuff to listen to around it if you hear a signal on one band to, to tell yourself that even if it looks quiet maybe tuning very slowly around it you might actually have something there so uh, don't hesitate to uh, listen a little closer on the frequencies around it. So these are kind of little tips that I can give you. Uh, but like I said, there's no magical way to necessarily know if a band is open. Apart from the general rule that, you know, uh, 15 megahertz and below is more of a late afternoon to nighttime listening, especially lower frequencies. 
um, you know, 10 megahertz below, especially. Um, it's not clear cut like that, and you know, and depending where you live and, and the time of year, uh, an example, 9 megahertz, the 31 meter band, can have local signals, like I could hear WRMI mostly, most of the day here, but it can actually be open to Europe in mid-afternoon in January, because propagation in winter is different. So, you know, tune around and, and do it regularly. Even if you don't hear anything from, you know, trying 10, 15 times, don't think there's nothing there. Uh, if you really want to find unusual signals, if you want to really hear things you never hear, you'll have to do it regularly. And you'll be rewarded with something at some point. It's, it's as easy as that. But sometimes it takes a lot of patience. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.